Do you know what uh, happened with Eddie? Did something new happen to him? Uh, didn't I tell you? Uh, tell me again. Remember when we were talking? I swear I told you it was about um him getting locked up. Wait, say that again? It was about him getting locked up. Oh, okay. Uh, what happened? You don't remember me telling you this? I'm sh I, sh I swear to God, Griggs, I, I talked about this with you. Like, it was like a month ago, almost. Oh, he got locked up like a month ago? Yeah. He was, remember, it was like for, um, he was at the Pierogi Festival, right? And, uh, yeah. there was this person that walked up to him after he had just got into an argument with Sky. And they he had they had a love and love shirt on, and uh, Eddie like a did pride shirt? yeah it was like a pride shirt pretty much, and it said love is love on it. Eddie was like, no, love is not love. If love is love, then what is a pedophile pretty much? And bro, Eddie is a pedophile. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But he um he got like uh, pretty pissed, and then the the girl was like saying that he's har harassing her and shit, and like um the cops were came came and said um and tried to like calm him down and said like they're gonna arrest him and shit if he doesn't calm down. And Eddie was like, I can't calm down. I have an IUD, and and uh the cops started to come after him. Like I w we were there when it happened. We were me and Alicia were there. We were getting some um, boba teas from the boba tea at um, the yeah. festival, the boba tea stand at the festival, and we turn around and see Eddie, the officer already on Eddie, like reaching out for him, and Eddie's like, "Get the fuck off me and shit," because like, why is he touching him, right? And he um he never said like he never read him his rights. He never said um uh, you're under arrest. He never said anything like that. They didn't start saying you're under arrest until after they already put their hands on him. You know what I mean? So like that's fucked. Yeah. Because he had they didn't they they did all the shit so unlawfully to arrest him. It's bullshit. He shouldn't even be locked up to be honest. Because he didn't do anything wrong. Like they're arresting him for what? Saying something to somebody? She didn't even press charges against him. So like they had nothing to hold him. But yet, they are putting him in prison for what? Yeah, that's weird. It is weird, bro. Boy, we, Although, I'm not surprised, because the cops out there tend to escalate shit. They're fucking corrupt over here, bro. They're corrupt as fuck. I can't stand the, the cops over here, bro. They're always... You know what the cops said to us when um, he said to uh, Sky? They said that it was nothing personal. When she went down to the, to the police station to see uh, about Eddie, they said it was nothing personal, and that... He, um, they were, uh, they, they were just trying to make an example out of Eddie. Well. That's fucked. Yeah. Like, how are they just gonna fucking arrest him and put him in prison just because they want to make an example out of him? No, what the fuck? That's not right, bro. They, they, they made, they, they fucking, they, uh, took all his... Remember, I was asking you if you remember when uh, you told when I told you about Eddie getting locked up, because I remember a while back you were um you when I asked you that you you said you said like uh, you said what was it oh that um remember when I was talking about how make it three hundred two to Eddie and that that's yeah, how he I, got I was locked the, up. I was the reason. I was the reason he even had that idea in the first place. Wait. I told I told Mike Tiberio to fucking three oh two Eddie. Oh shit, wow. Yeah. That's what I was trying to that's what I was trying to ask. Yeah, cause cause fucking Eddie was talking about taking Can I speak now? Taking Mike and Carmen not yet, not yet, not yet. and cutting them open and fucking spreading their entrails all over the fucking county 
pretty much. Because they caused someone to stop Skyler from some work. psycho shit. Like, you don't do that shit. I was, I was telling Mike that at the time, I was like, fucking 302 is ass. You already have the evidence. All you gotta do is print it out. Print out all those fucking posts that he keeps posting on Facebook. Print out all the fucking text messages between you and him. Wow. And fucking take it to the fucking hospital and 302 is ass. And guess what happened? He got 302'd. He got taken from his home and 302'd. And then he sat there and he didn't cooperate with the nurses. He didn't cooperate with the paramedics or the police. He fucking sat there and assaulted, like, two nurses, I think. Um, was there. I, don't, I don't know how many nurses it was, to be honest with you. Well, he, he, fucking, he fucking assaulted a nurse or, or more. Yeah, one nurse yeah. And fucking got himself, got those charges pressed up against him. Right. So that's on him. And now, and now he's going around harassing people about their fucking, their fucking beliefs and making people uncomfortable and now he's locked up again. Like, this is going to be a cycle with Eddie. I'm telling you. He's going to be in and out of jail for the rest of his life because of his choices. I mean, look at me. Look at the difference between me and Eddie. I'm not spending most of my life in and out of jail. I probably got locked up for maybe... Okay, I was locked up for 30 days once. And then I got locked up that second time for like a couple of hours. And then I got out. You remember that one? Yes, I remember that one. And no charges were even pressed against me. So I'm good. That was, wasn't that because of Mavis? Yeah, yes. I, 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 we, we were walking around, and we saw Mavis, and I confronted her about it. Oh yeah, and she fucking called the cops on you, I remember yeah, that shit. I grabbed, her, I grabbed her by the collar of her shirt, and I fucking started yelling in her face. Right, I remember that. I remember that. So right there was Michael Gregson of Broadband Studios on YouTube admitting that him and Michael Tiberio set me up. By the way, Gregson, I've been out of jail since the 30th of June. So, yeah. To choke on that, and I'm innocent, and the cops set me up. Yep. And I just wanted to say, um, Gregson, if you see this, man... He's gonna see it. Yeah, I he, the first Eddie does not the first deserve one. what happened to him. And Eddie's not a pedophile, bro. Like, he... Eddie's a good person. And fucking make it in... You shouldn't have done that to him, and he didn't deserve that, what y'all did to him. So, yeah. Cat's got your tongue, Grayson? Here's how to get into $50 gift card giveaway. So, one, you must first be a subscriber. Two, you must comment as much as you can on as many videos as you can, because the drawing will be random, and the more you comment, the more chances you will have in being picked. And lastly, I'll be announcing the winner at the end of the video like this, whether it be my voice or on camera. I will not comment or tell you through the comments that you've won. You'll find out through the end of the video like this. If someone does comment and say that you won, then it's not me. Report that comment and mark it as spam, because that is a scam. Also, check out these two videos at the end. Have a great day. God bless. Being in the world but not of the world, allows you to see the evil of the world. Be of Christ Jesus, for he is the truth, and so shall he also show you the truth of all things.